Hello everybody, this is Irishna with Mama's a Gamer, and this is the continuation of Being One, Episode 2, Bloodbath. We are not going to pay attention to our time on this game because we can only record 15 minutes at a time. I am using a free uh, screen viewer or recorder, so... I'm limited on my time. Um, <clears throat> anyway, let's jump right in it. Um, I have uh, take it, gotten back to the area we were. We had watched a body. We had read this little data pad I was just about to pull up. <clears throat> I can't remember if we did this one or not, so we're going to go ahead and do it. <clears throat> Ashton Blake, these things are unreal. The blood is nothing like our own. It's almost alien to ours. They seem to have transformed into a creature that derives its energy and regenerative powers from blood itself. That is quite mind-blowing in itself. I'm sure Dr. Roycraft wants this research performed for the good of humankind, but at times his plans seem more devious than that. Why won't he show us all the blueprints? What are the other research and engineering departments in this building up to? What is the sanguine chalice? Everyone is on about. I must find out the answers to these questions. So this is a guy who's just not understanding everything that's going on. All right, blueprints. One equals eight, six, five, four. We need to remember this. One equals eight, six, five, four. Oh, I hope I can remember that. What else can we find in this room? Uh, hopefully dead body? What the heck does a hopefully dead body mean? You know, I mean, really? All right, so it looks like just data pads and... Should we scan this? I don't remember if we did. It's not saying any... Whoa, keypad, keypad, keypad. Um, I don't remember what it said. Eight, six, five, four. Okay, code entered correctly click here okay so that one's done what what did it say a body but operated on been operated on okay so we found the keypad in this room and we entered correctly did we do this data pad I think we did dr. Baca yes we did Okay, we're going back out of this room, and we're going to go into examination room, too. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Okay. That's the keypad. Where are the blueprints? That's a data pad. Token cool name. <laughs> what a name. These ones are extremely volatile. If one ever got out, I suspect it would wreck it total havoc they shake to the point of seizure at the sight of blood and sprout disgusting profanities they are like creatures possessed i don't know what we can hope to learn from them but dr roycraft seems to know what he's doing on a more personal note i think i'm going to ask about Faye tonight i know she's a bit on the moody side but i like um like them like that she is always looking at me with those dark sultry eyes Ooh, somebody's got a love interest sometimes i wonder if it's lust or simply murderous hatred like the others say hmm is there a love aspiring here in the depths we have got that's the data pad we read <clears throat> Screens smashed. A lot of blood. A lot of blood. Con. Air, air conditioning vent. I do not. Oh, a blood sample. 
how do we do a code? Eight, six, five, three. Oh, it was not correct. Okay, where do we find blood everywhere? Where do we find blueprints? This table have, has been overturned. I see no blueprints. Table's overturned. Table's overturned. Okay, we are stuck. Something smashed the ceiling. Huh. We can't click on that. We can't... Oh, gee, oh, gee, oh, gee, oh, gee. What do we do? How do we find the blueprint? I guess it's not in there. What is this? A data pad. Philip Riley. The security is pretty crazy around here. To enter the restricted area, I have to activate the keypads in two examination rooms before even looking at the one on the main door. Crazy. I keep forgetting the codes. So I scribble them down on the blueprints with a little number saying which one's which. I'm so clever. Sometimes it hurts. It really does. Everyone keeps talking about the sanguine chalice. chalice. I'm not sure what it is, but some think it's a goblet of ancient, powerful blood. Others, a weapon of some kind. Who knows? Maybe it'll turn out to be both. Not that I care, really. Well, gee, he's a perky one, isn't he? Okay, is there anything written out here? No, no. There's no... Click here to cancel them. Okay. More air conditioning vents. Two chairs. So, there's not... Hmm. Where were the other blueprints? We have to go out and find the other blueprints. I don't or no I don't remember where they were. I really don't. Okay. That's the way out. We can't go there. Habitation. Oh oh god. Were there blueprints in here? A data pad. Uh Okay. Thomas Genghis. Dr. Rycraft is obviously a great man, but to snatch us from our homes, our families, I know this work could save millions, but it's still hard to get through the day not knowing how my family are doing. Though I guess that's the idea. Being locked in here with these things is a great incentive to discover the secrets of the blood and get our asses out of here. One of the other guys says he spoke to someone on the floor below us and they are in a similar situation to us, though they recently made a significant breakthrough. He also mentioned they are working with aliens, which is quite preposterous. Then again, I didn't believe in vampires until Dr. Roycraft brought us here. Sleeping quarters. Let's see. Sleeping quarters. We've already been here. Just a bed. Just a bed. A, whoops. A data pad. Yeah, we... No one can sleep knowing the subject had that escaped is still out there. These things are lethal. They are almost immortal. Tough as hell and like to rip veins out of throats. Oh my god. They crave blood and it seems that is a side effect of their special qualities. Still, I am sleeping with a dart gun under my pillow. We are working all the hours we can. We need to unlock the sealed casket and discover what is inside. The mechanism to open the main door is rigged to the casket, so we must open that if we are to escape. Though it wouldn't surprise me to find armed guards standing the other side of that door when we do. It all seems we are working on some kind of a robot. None of us is allowed to see all of the plans, but we have pieced together, get together the elements, and some kind of killer vampire robot is the logical conclusion. But 
that seems at odds to Dr. Roycraft's vocal ambitions to save millions. Oh my god, a killer vampire robot. All right, there's no blueprint in here. Was it in here? I know there was a blueprint somewhere. It's not in here. Was it upstairs? Oh, I'm afraid to go up here. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, God. Yes, blueprint. What number? Number two, 2236. 2236. Okay, we're going out. We're going out. All right, out. 2236. 2236. 2236. Research. Back down here. Examination room two. Two, two, three, six. Yes! It was entered correctly. All right, all right, all right. Blood. There's nothing, 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 nothing. All right, we can go out. Oh, 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 oh. Keypad. Oh, we need the third blueprint. I remember seeing it somewhere. Where did we see it? Where? It was back the way we came in. Oh, we can't go out there? Graham McDonald. The rumor is that the guys on the floor below have been working with aliens. It seems crazy, but no less crazy than us working with vampires. Someone who also said to one of their specimens went crazy and hypnotized one of the scientists. He then proceeded to kill himself in a most horrible manner. Oh, I'm shaking. He must be crazy down there. Then again, it's pretty bad up here unless we get that casket open and discover the secrets to the vampire blood. We are never going to get that door open. Some say they will kill us either way, but I'm not sure. Okay. More machinery, habitation, the only place it could be since we can't get back out is to habitation. Crud. Where is that other blueprint? Back to hub. Torn clothing and blood. Empty cupboards, empty cupboards. Oh, the lockers. Blueprint. Number three, 7249. 7249. Oh, 7249. 7249. 7249. Ah, come on. Seven, two, four, nine. Ah, why didn't it do anything? Okay, here we go. Another data pad. Oh, we only have 13 and a half, or we only have one and a half minutes. Rugger Haskell Craig, to open the casket, we need the eight samples of synthesized blood that Dr. Baca has been working on. We need to decipher the code on the ancient scroll and also set up the three power supplies in order so they supply the exact amount to open it when the code is input, apparently. Personally, I don't think it'll work, but Dr. Roycroft assures us it will. Strange man. Okay, guys, we need to end this uh, episode here, and we will continue in another video. Hopefully, we can solve what the heck is going on and make it out of here. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment down below, click like, and share. Please also subscribe. See you in a few.